Hey folks, I hope you're all well and staying safe. So, you've heard a lot about something called SideQuest and the ability to sideload games on your Oculus Quest or Quest 2. However, you need a PC to be able to do that. But unfortunately, you spent all of your money on the headset and are sad that you can't play those wonderful sideloaded games. Well, have no fear, Whackman is here. Today, I'm going to show you something very special, which is being able to sideload games with nothing but your mobile phone. I'm going to do it right in front of you, so you know exactly what you need to do. This means you can even sideload games on the go, if we ever go on holiday for example. So if you enjoyed the video and find it even a little helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, as it lets me know to make more of this type of content. Talking about something very special, remember my Quest 2 giveaway is still on for one of my subscribers, if we reach our goal by Christmas. Plus, we also have a giveaway for Arizona Sunshine and Richie's Plank Experience. Full details are in the description below. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first step before we start anything is to create an Oculus Developer account, as without it you won't be able to play any side loaded games. Now, since we are doing all of this on our phone, click the link in the video description or go to dashboard.oculus.com. Once you're there, click on Login. Then click on Sign up to become an Oculus Developer. Then if you have already created a Facebook account and linked to your Quest 2, click the sign up with a Facebook account or if you haven't, then click on create an unmerged Oculus developer account. Fill in your details and click create account. Once you have logged in, it should take you to create new organization straight away. If it doesn't, then just click the create new organization button on the far right. Now to make it easier to see, I'm going to put the browser in desktop mode, which just gives the view of being a desktop, but you're still on the phone. Then add your organization name. It can generally be anything, so you can just add your own name if you want. Read the terms, then click I understand and press submit. Then a non-disclosure agreement will pop up. You can read that in case you've seen that South Park episode. Otherwise, click agree. And that's it for that part. Now, as I am using an Android phone, since I don't have an iPhone, we will be going to the Google Play Store and download an app called Bug Jager. The link is in the description below. Once you have downloaded that, we need to enable developer mode on your phone. Now just before we do that, I want to make sure you understand not to use the app or the developer mode in any other way than I'm showing you, as you have access to the actual system of the phone. And you know the saying, with great power comes great responsibility. Okay, so to turn on developer mode on your phone, go into settings, then go into about phone, then software information, and then you will need to press the build number section seven times. Then it will ask you for your phone's pin if you have that set, and then input that. Then go back out to the main settings page and you will have a new developer options section. Click on it, scroll down and turn on USB debugging. Now developer mode has been turned on on your phone. Congratulations, we're almost done. So the next thing is to download a game. Now this requires a little more searching than if you had SideQuest, but it's still fine. So here you will have to actually find the APK files. Now a lot of games are actually on itch.io, such as Crisis Brigade that we will be downloading today. The link is in the description as well. However, if you're interested, I've also linked where to get Pavlov in the description below. And once you have downloaded the APK, the process is exactly the same. I'll see if I can link some more games that I think you guys might find enjoyable. Okay, so go to the website, click on download now. If you can support the developer, then that would be great. Otherwise, click no thanks, just take me to the downloads. Then simply click download. Once the APK has downloaded, it is one gigabyte, so it may take some time. Then switch on your Oculus Quest or Quest 2. Then open up the Oculus app on your phone, then go to settings. Wait until the headset connects, then click on more settings. If you can't see that, click on the arrow on the right to expand it. Then go to developer mode and toggle it on. Then go back, then go to unlock patterns and make sure that is turned off. It should already be off by default. If you have done all of that and something went wrong, just reboot your headset and see if it worked. If not, just redo those steps. All right. Now you will need a USB-C cable that can connect from your headset to your mobile phone. It depends on your phone, but if you have a USB-C connection on your phone, then great, as the cable that came with the headset will work. That's exactly what I used. So connect your phone to your Oculus Quest headset. The Bug Jager app should automatically ask you if it should handle your Quest. Click on OK and the app will open. Put on the headset and two pop-ups will appear. One will be allowing access for the phone to connect to your Quest, and the other will be asking if it should allow debugging. Click on Always Allow and then click OK. Now go to the Bug Jager app and click on the plus icon at the top. And it should already be on Select APK File. Press OK. Find your downloaded APK file. And then it should start installing. It does take a few minutes so be patient. Once it is done, it will tell you install correctly. So once that's completed, you can disconnect the cable. Go into the headset. Click on Applications. 
Click on the far right drop down. Scroll down to unknown sources. Your game should be there. Click on it and it should start. Well, there you go. Congratulations. You are now able to sideload all the games without a PC or a laptop. Come on, you know this video deserves a like and a subscribe. Well, that's all folks. I hope you actually enjoyed the video as it wasn't that easy to make, but hopefully it has helped you in some way. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below and I will try and answer if I can. Also remember to enter the Quest 2 giveaway by following the instructions below. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and see you next time.